Hi guys and welcome to your new video. Today I'm getting out my colored pencils again to draw a little songbird. But first of all, apologies that I'm behind schedule with this video. There have been some problems here that I had to resolve first before I could find nerves for doing art again. Yeah, and I'm sorry for that. But now I'm back and I hope you enjoy the video. So, I am someone who wants to categorize everything, <laughs> be it butterflies in the garden, insects, plants, even up to the rocks I collected as a kid when I was in the mountains with my parents. <laughs> and lately I discovered a new hobby. After getting myself a bird app, I am now eager to try and find out which bird is tweeting which song. <laughs> and one of the first ones I found was actually a quoted that I had intended to draw, but due to a mistake from my side while searching for references, I caught a marsh tit. Yeah, and before I noticed, I had already done the pre-drawing and yeah, I just went with it. And in this video you will see me jump around quite a bit with all the color pencils I had picked out because yeah, this was more or less a trial and error process because this is the first bird I have ever drawn. <laughs> And in the beginning I was thinking about whether to draw the branch first the bird is sitting on or the bird itself. With the branch I thought it wouldn't matter too much if I messed it up since it was the first piece of wood I was doing also but then again it was the first bird so I thought what's the difference? Just start with the bird. <laughs> And in the later stages of the wings, I will also go in with the slightest bit of mixed media here because you can scratch out only so many highlights with your X-Acto knife. And I went in with my smallest brush here with just a little bit of acrylic ink. Also, this was a learning process for me in terms of color because I did not own a purplish gray that yeah that the wings had so I had to find a way to mix that and also I was trying around quite a lot with different whites to find the best opacity
And really an X-Acto knife is really the best tool if you want to scratch out highlights and fine feathers and stuff. As you can see here on the darker underbelly where I'm scratching away the darker parts. And I'm sorry about the feet because I had to do them off camera because they were so small that I would have had my head hanging in the picture all the time, so you wouldn't have seen anything. <laughs> Here I'm now coming to the woods, and the first part looks quite okay, but in the later stages, yeah, my eyes got confused and I was just puzzling away with lines and shapes, and yeah, I didn't know what I'm doing anymore. <laughs> and a footnote here again. It helps from time to time to take photos of your work because after some time your eyes will only give you 2D anymore and on a photo you get the 3D again. I don't know what that is but it's very useful. <laughs> Here the weird shapes and lines and stuff is starting. <laughs> I was actually improvising quite a lot with the wood. And I'm still learning with colour pencils. I'm by no means a pro. <laughs> I have done a few works, but I'm still learning. And the funny thing on the side is I have signed this piece with 2020, well it's 2021, I don't know, in my head it is <laughs> it is still last year. I only saw that now. So thank you very much for watching and yeah, like, subscribe, comment and see you all in the next one. Bye!